Good morning, Lisa Mickler, our artist extraordinaire. You're going to talk to us a little bit about the paintings here at Spring Lake. Okay. What would you like to know? I would just like to know um, how and what you had to do to plan to get all those wonderful elements in this painting that I'm looking at. Well, the first thing we did was talk to a committee here. We got a list of birds. We went and took pictures of Spring Lake. Uh, then we organized the birds into woods birds, field birds, backyard birds, and there was another one, water birds. And we decided the format we were going to use. We were going to make some big paintings, but because I couldn't fit 30 some birds on the three paintings, I decided, okay, we'll spread to the walls. So we're continuing the mural behind, uh, continuing a mural behind the wall, uh, the, the paintings, and they will have some of the birds that we couldn't fit on this, but. The backdrop will be Spring Lake throughout the, the paintings that are hung. And I just tried to kind of fit birds in where they would naturally nest or feed. And so also something I was trying to do was to kind of tuck them in places and layer them over other things so you wouldn't have so many birds visible that it just looked cluttery. So you'll be able to see there's you know, these ringneck collared doves up here, and they nest in the sable palms. And you have the barred owl here. They nest, nest in, you know, like cavities of trees. And so, anyway, this one I just put on the tree. You know, here you have an osprey, you know, an example of layering it over something else because then it's not just a you know, something that draws your eye, you know, up to the sky is a unique, you know, object, but it's just kind of part of the backdrop. You know, you have your red-winged blackbirds, but its mate is down here. She weaves her nest in these reeds, just like basket weavers do, and it's really amazing, and she's feeding her babies. And then you have the Muscovy ducks back here with you know, their babies. And this is springtime, so I put a lot of the birds in their, uh, their plumes where they're trying to attract their mates. And so we have, you know, a blue heron, a kingfisher, a sandhill crane and her baby. Uh, so all of these here are more like water birds. You know, the collar dove is not, of course, but then each painting has some water birds in it because the lake goes throughout. But then in the last painting is the backyard birds, and they're eating peanuts and things that, you know, people have put out for them. So that's how they're organized. All right. Thank you so much.